What's good everybody, it's me, Tim Keys, and I'm back with another video. And uh, I want to talk about the new update from MPC. We are now on version 2.10. And so last week, Akai released an update that is quite impressive. Uh, they gave you a lot of content for NPC owners. And so what I want to do is just do a brief overview of the features for the software unit and just go over some of the perks. Yeah, no, it's not quite the same as having the standalone units, but keep in mind that if you got the software for your desktop, basically you got the same thing. You got the same operating system and you can probably you know get more traction out of it because the computers are far more powerful than the units and that's okay so real quick you know they added the cv inputs you got your clips your plugins when you go to your plugins select what you want make sure i do it right there we go so what i want to do is and they give you baseline electric they added the new hype and hype synth was initially exclusive to the akai force and i'm gonna keep it real i almost i was holding out on buying an npc the newer models because i wanted the uh, the hype synth. Um, uh oh, my stuff is not talking to me. That's not good. Oh, uh, I'll wing it with a mouse. Yeah, the hype synth is pretty dope. If I can get it pulled back up. Now, keep in mind, um, one of the things that's interesting about the hype synth is that they don't, if you're like a, a synth head and a synth geek and all that good jazz, you're not going to be able to get under the hood to manipulate sounds on a per oscillator level. Everything, for the most part, you know, they give you macros and different things of that nature that you can go and modify and set up and get your sounds. You do have your filters. You have your EQ. Yep, you have your filters, your cutoffs, but you can't necessarily select like filter types, like comb versus a, a format versus, you know, high pass, low pass, or your ladder filters. Everything is kind of given and a fixed set of parameters and that's okay uh, this is good because i mean it has great sound and you know they give you a lot to work with you know keep in mind if you're working standalone if you're working standalone and you know you just want sounds right out the box and you don't want to necessarily hook up to your computer hype synth is great um, the only again the only flip side is if you're like a, a, a tweaker your options are going to be pretty much fixed to what's available in front of you and that's okay but in my opinion hype synth is amazing and it sounds great they also give you the new mellotron and it's got some nice features you can make your stuff sound clean oh that's the interface part of me so you get to pick your sounds eight voice choir voice choir flute violins got three different versions you get to adjust your formats determine how old you want those samples to sound get your cutoffs attack and release and so forth it give you some good features to work with. Then you have these units that you can use to really modify and curate your sound. 
and they give you a nice little you know set of parameters and presets that you can work with and again like it's the mellotron so i mean outside of like a uvi collection or a third party library a rack extension or arteria they have their version of mellotron you'd be hard pressed to find these samples you know readily accessible i think there's a free version um it's 32 bit i forgot what it's called retron i think that's it um and yeah you know if that's all you got it's a good deal to work with but you know it's always nice to have something that has been professionally developed and you know high quality and again you know if you got the software or the standalone unit it is you know now at your fingertips now you have all those sounds and different ways of processing those sounds within the software or in your favorite DAW right out the gate. So there's that. I'm not going to do it. Somebody's going to be like, how come you didn't map your MIDI controller to this? And I'll just be blunt. I've probably shot this video you know, a couple different times, and I'm trying to just make it more concise. Yeah, so I'm just not doing all that. I click on the piano roll. Anyhow, now you got the Odyssey, and again, this is um, this is Akai's, you know, proprietary modeling um, technology at work to recreate the synthesizer if you will and it's pretty to me it's pretty good it's more abrasive sounding you know even your pads <laughs> so yeah the odyssey is nice it's good for giving you abrasive tones like that old old school analog feel if you want those bright and raspy and those hard tones odyssey is good for that and again you know they put it in for free and the last thing they added on the instrument in was selena and selena is a string based synth been out for a while um selena is an old synthesizer been out for like forever but again you know outside of a few plug-in companies like again arturia and i can't remember if uvi has their own version of the selena you know and maybe a few free versions there isn't a lot out there that kind of emulate that that string synth bass type sound. And you know, they give you a nice little interface to work with again. And you can add adjustments to your liking. Yeah, all out the gate. And again, what's nice about this is it's free. Um, Akai has really stepped up their game in the past year and given its users a lot of what they were requesting. So the hype synth, they've added some features to, you know, like the portamento for your bass lines for those folks who wanna, you know, really get busy with the 808s and, you know, making drill music that way. Um, they added that feature. They got auto-tune built in. So you can do auto-tune here using their plugins. They have a halftime bass plugin. They have a granulizer and a bunch of other effects that they just added to this program. I'm not going to go over all of them for the sake of time, but I just wanted to show you, you know, the update from this vantage point. If you're using the NPC software, um, yeah, you, you should be in good hands. Now, if you're on the fence and you're someone who's like, all right, I want a standalone unit like the, the NPCs, I personally, my two cents, I would recommend 
go ahead, save up your money and just get the one, get the live or whichever one. Um, because in my opinion, what they're putting into these machines at this point, yes, the other machines sound great. Somebody will probably dispute me on that and say the 3000 is the best thing ever. But the bottom line is these machines, your, your, you got all sorts of, I got a drum synth built in to the new machines. Like, yeah, I can sample if I want to, and that's awesome. I can cut records. I can do all that. But then I can go and I can put in effects, whatever effects I want to put in. I can go build my own drum kits because they give you a drum synth. And I, I'll go over that in a different video. You got the hype synth on top of your, your standard tube synth top of your bass lines on top of you know your keys you know all of that stuff has been put in out the gate the, the last unit that i've seen that was standalone that really you know went big on that end was your rolling mv and those are nice but those are over you know 10 years old at this point and they're not really they're not being supported doesn't look like Roland is coming back for to to do an update this is bank for buck one of the best you know products in my opinion that you can get and it seems like akai is really listening to its customer base so if you got the software you're good to go and again you can use this with inside a, a ableton a fl studio a reason a cubase or whatever or you can use it by itself and you know get to work before i leave i'll show this real quick if you got the if you do the update on your software the thing you want to do is you want to open up the menu after you've done the update go down to the help icon click on this go get your synth content and it will take you to the page where you need to go so you can download all of the new stuff then you open it up and set it up just like you would any other computer program or VSC. And then, yeah, you open up the program and you get to work. So that's all I got for today. Um, peace out.